Cherry Springs is one of my very favorite lakes. As you can see, it's a lake of about one and a quarter uh, acres. It's roughly six foot deep on average. It's tree lined and underneath the trees you have a couple of different ledges at three and four feet. Um, the bottom is mainly uh, silt, uh, but there are gravel patches, particularly under the trees where the, uh, the, t uh, the carp tend to keep uh, the bottom much cleaner. Um, we've got a very very good stock of carp of all sizes in, in here. Uh, the carp do naturally breed in this lake so it means we've got a good number of small young fish. Um, I would say most of the carp in here are, are double figures. Um, we do have though a good number of 20s because over the last three winters we've introduced nearly 30 20 pound fish. because it is so heavily stocked with a range of carp, normally responds to most uh, sensible carp fishing methods. Um, you can catch the fish in open water. Occasionally you can catch them on zigs, although the fact that the water is very coloured makes that quite difficult. But generally I would say fishing to the obvious features, which are the overhanging trees. Uh, they're also the shelves that run uh, along, the, along the banks we have a series of marginal shelves. I would say that they're probably the best place for anglers to start. You can float fish close in uh, on the beautiful deck of Kingfisher Lodge. You can pick up some crucian carp and some small tench as well as some of the, of, of the smaller carp. Um, but generally I would say it's a, uh, you know, if you fish sensibly, uh, use sensible rigs, bait consistently, then there's no reason why you shouldn't catch regularly in most conditions uh, on Cherry Springs. Uh, because our objective is really for, uh, for anglers to come here, catch a good number of carp, and hopefully, I would say one in 10 uh, are a 20, is a 20 pounder. Uh, so if you're here for a week and you catch 20, 20, 20 to 25 fish, which would be a very good target for, for a reasonable anger, angler, uh, then you should catch a couple of 20s. Kingfisher Lodge is really like all our other one bedroom lodges. We have a double bed in a bedroom. We have a fully fitted kitchen. Uh, it's got, you know, got, got a gas hob, it's got a microwave, fridge and a freezer. We've got a, a nice sofa, you've got, a, you've got a, a smart TV, you've got a DVD. You've even got a Wi-Fi connection. So if you have to stay in touch with the outside world or indeed even work, there's no reason why you, you can't do. We have a, 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 a very nice, comfortable double shower uh, in, in your own bathroom. Uh, on the decking outside of the lodge, you know, we've invested heavily in uh, non-slip uh, decking. So whether it's wet or whether it's icy, you will, uh, there really is no reason for you to fall over. We also have a, a barbecue tray holder, which we've designed especially for, uh, for the lodges. We also, outside the lodge on the deck, can have a big, big bench that, uh, that also turns into a, a huge sort of tackle storage box. Kingfisher Lodge was the first of our lodges to have the AstroTurf decking. Um, the feedback from, our, from just about every angler, uh, uh, as well as their guests, that have ever fished on this AstroTurf is that it's superb. It's always comfortable, it's always clean, it dries quickly and it's comfortable to walk on. It's in fact almost the perfect uh, fishing surface. We have a big swim here uh, on Kingfisher Lodge, so it's more than comfortable for two anglers uh, fishing you know, half of the lake each. Uh, in short, uh, Kingfisher Lodge is comfortable throughout the year, uh, and personally I think it's the ultimate winter bivvy.